Hello everyone, I've got another indie box here. You guys know the drill, let's figure out what's inside. Now again, this is not sponsored content. I'm not getting anything from the indie box guys. So just to clear that up, look at my first video if you need to see the, see the proof that I'm not getting paid or anything. Huh, what is this? Uh, the next Penelope. Uh, Race to Odysseus. Th this is really cool. This this isn't like the the rest of their boxes. This is like in sort of like one of those hard plastic like um I was gonna say Sega Mega Drive, uh, Sega Genesis cartridges. That is really cool. But you know what? I could already tell that this is a generic uh, a generic one that's actually sold on eBay. That it works for like a whole bunch of other stuff, even CDs. But um. Uh, so yeah, this is actually just a generic case, but that's strange. Usually they're in those hard cardboard cases. Ooh, this looks like a shoot 'em up. That seems really cool. Let's see what's inside. Well, first of all, what else is here? Uh, is this is this one of those wrist things? Yeah, I think this is one of those wrist slap things. I think they were recalled off the market back in like the 90s. I remember seeing these, if this is that, um, I remember seeing these back in, God, it must have been middle school or so, and or even earlier than that, uh, sometime in the 90s, 80s, somewhere around there. Yeah, it is. <laughs> let, me, let me see. Let me show this. All right, so you see, here's the strap, and then there you go. You just flick it on you. And yeah, I remember that these were actually recalled um, way back in the day because, uh, I don't know, some some BS reason that there's like metal inside or something and then I guess the edge can like wear off and then the last thing you want a kid to have is, you know, this metal, you know, blade that they just, you know, flick onto their wrist. But um, either way, so some kid got a paper cut and then it was the 90s, it was a different time. They recalled everything for any sort of reason. But... Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just my memory, but this, it seems like it's uh, a poster, maybe? Either way, my point was that it seems that back then they used to always recall over the dumbest things, but I don't know. That trend kind of continues today. All right. How do we get this out? Uh, okay, this was a bad decision, guys, because now nobody can get your stuff out. Ah. You know what? I got a better idea. There we go. All right. There we go. Yeah, it's a poster. You know what? I don't like this, how they put it in that roll because look at this now it's all now it's all rippled and everything or ruffled I don't know depends on whether you like chips or not um, okay yeah it's just a little a little image of the ship it has a harpoon plasma gun black crystal smash boost teleport drop mines and ooh, you have a female character that you play as I guess I guess that's where the next Penelope thing comes into play. Fast-paced action racing game. Okay, I didn't expect it to be racing. I thought it was a shoot 'em up. Uh, da, 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 da. okay. Let's open this up. Ooh, a lot of stuff in here. Stickers, as always. All right, there's that. A little emblem type thing that is a sticker. Then an indie box sticker. I like these indie box stickers because each one of them, every box comes with one, but they all have their own little, little sort of thing that they do with it. And then this one, you can see the little ship right here at the end, but they always have something that's very specific to the game that comes with it. Now original soundtrack, as we always expect on this. That's a nice image right there. I like that. All right. Indie box newsletter. All right, the instruction manual. All right, that's pretty typical. I wonder if you get weapons in this. Let's look at the controls. Yeah, you do. Here's shoot, 
boost mines. Okay, yeah, they did talk about mines, so... Alright, so you do have weapons in this. That's pretty cool. There's also a hook, so maybe you hook on to other racers or, you know, to the corners. Like, you know, those games where you can, you know, fly around a corner like that. I think, what was it, uh, Jet Moto? They were the first ones that really did that. Oh, wow! A cube craft model thing. So that way you can cut this out and then make your own ship. Uh, how involved is this? Uh, you know what, there's no preparations or anything like there's, you don't punch it out or anything, you actually have to cut it. It's kind of stuck right there at the bottom. Yeah, they put some glue at the bottom of this one. Okay, that's kind of strange. Yeah, there's that glue right there at the bottom, sort of like what credit cards come with. No steam code? What? No steam code? Or steam key, sorry. Oh, wait, wait, wait. okay, I'm an idiot. Here we go. It was on the plastic. Alright, guys. Whoever gets this code, whoever gets the game, make sure to tell me what you thought about it. Uh, I'm debating whether we should assemble this or not. <laughs> Use a hobby knife to slit the white lines with black outline inside each shape. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of work. Actually, all it took was a jump cut. I'm kidding. This took like maybe, geez, like an hour and 15 minutes to make. Uh, I delicately cut everything out and I put it all together and this is the way it looks like. Wow, that was a lot of time down the drain. <laughs> and not a drop of glue was used. I just did it exactly like they told me to. Uh, no corners were cut. And you know what? The worst part though was this back part. These like four corners, they all have to match up. And so that took a lot of time. But otherwise this looks kind of nice. Really cute little fins right here and everything. Oh geez, that was a lot of time. <laughs> oh well, I should get something for that. But still, yeah. So I was able to make this little paper craft model right here. Oh well. You know what, some other thoughts I had about the stuff that's come with the game. I don't know what I'm going to do with this thing. Maybe I was thinking about putting a hole in it and then hanging it from the ceiling or something. But either way, delicate. Try not to break that. Either way, when I was... Um, when I was making that though, I got to be familiar with the game's soundtrack, and this is a pretty good soundtrack. Um, it's not anything stellar, you know, for a racing game or anything, but they have some really good tunes on here. I was really, I was actually like jamming out when I was cutting this stuff out and building it and everything. It helped the time pass by, so I've been through this soundtrack like twice now. And I gotta say, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Alright, and then one other thing that I realized is that there's actually... Do you see this? There's like a second cover in here. Like there's the actual cover insert that's on here. But then they put in another one because I didn't realize that there's some motion to this. Maybe you guys saw that when I was taking this out. But watch. Ah, you see? As you move it, her hair kind of like flutters in the wind. And then there's this like asteroid or something that's passing by. That is pretty cool. That looks nice. And you know what I also noticed? She's missing her arm! What happened? I don't know, there's probably going to be some backstory to that or something. Or, I don't know, maybe she gets into a wreck. Look, she's all beat up and everything, poor thing. But yeah, either way, let's see how the game is. Alright guys, I've been playing the next Penelope, and this is a great, great game. I don't know what genre it would fall in. I think it sort of falls into the adventure racing game genre, if that makes any sense. It has a really cool design to it because there's like an overworld, so you can go visit different areas at any time. So that's why I kind of say that it's an adventure racing game. And of course, as you guys have probably already figured out, it's also a combat racing game. And the combat is very well done. It makes the racing very frantic and really exciting. Especially because you can't use your weapons in the first lap. So during the first lap, you're trying to get a feel for the track. And also you're trying to, you know, get ready because your weapons are going to be activated pretty soon. This game even has boss battles. Boss battles in a racing game. Something that I wasn't prepared for, though, is that this game is actually based around Greek mythology. And for a racing game that has these, like, spaceship-looking F-Zero type racers, Greek mythology is the last thing I would have expected to get in here. The cutscenes look gorgeous. The art design in this game really sells it. And let me tell you about another thing that I'm sold on. I actually get it now. So, what is it that I actually get? I actually get that there is a PC indie gaming scene. 
For a lot of you out there, you're probably saying, well, duh, you know, of course, there's always been one. But for me, somebody who doesn't really follow PC gaming, that comes as a really big shock to me. Because in recent years, we've kind of had this big indie gaming boom. And I've always believed that those games existed like on tablets. In other words, if you were a big indie game, then you probably exist on, you know, iPad and Android. And I kind of assumed that the games that were successful enough, they get ported onto consoles. But really, I believe that that's where indie games really lived, you know? But now it's dawned on me that PCs are where a lot of these indie games actually thrive. And you know, I think that is an image problem for PC gaming because I was under the impression that PC gaming is where you go so you could go get, you know, first person shooters, strategy games, MOBAs, MMORPGs. And because of that, I'm missing out on a lot of indie games. And again, I'm not sponsored by IndieBox, but I'm really glad that I got the service because without it, I would have never figured this out. Alright, lastly I want to mention the soundtrack again. It's actually really, really good. It's not as good as Risk of Rain, but Risk of Rain is a tough act to follow. But overall, I'm very impressed with this one. This one came out really well. I've got to hand it to them. I've only gotten two deliveries so far, but so far they're two for two. I've enjoyed both of them immensely. So who knows how long they'll keep up this winning streak, but I hope it doesn't end. And that's really all I got to say. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.